Hello Americans and other friends and subscribers around the world. Back again. Um, sitting in here in the in Hillbilly headquarters. Listing a few things and uh, watching a few videos. And we didn't end up going uh, uh, rock hounding yesterday. Actually ended up, Kevy D had been up working in the same area we were talking about. Uh, going rock hounding in so when he got off work and so we were watching the kids we ended up the kids were just playing on the tram we just played with the kids in the yard all day so didn't do no filming up there we rock hounding yesterday we're probably gonna go up the mountain here in a few just for a little breath of fresh air get away from the minute we've been listing like uh man insanely 100, 100 and something island, island, items in the last few days and then and just trying to go gung-ho and then we're trying to get another 20 on today which we're chugging away at it Miss Kitty was over here packing stuff but uh, as soon as she seen the camera set up she disappeared <laughs> but uh, I don't know I was just gonna go over been watching uh, some of the other videos and stuff like that and, Actually, uh, um, Dwayne's, what was that, what is his, uh, anyway, Dwayne's last night, and, uh, Lonnie was on there, and, uh, I can't remember that gal's name, anyway, watching that, cut, I don't know, half the show or whatever, and they were going over, you know, negotiating and stuff at, uh, at yard sales, you know, and buying stuff and stuff like that. They were talking about and they were going over how to negotiate and all that. And you know, I mean there's a lot of stuff to learn on these videos, watching these videos, you know, you take a little bit, nobody, I don't care how long they've been in it, nobody can uh teach you everything. Obviously experience is where it's at. And uh you know the one thing they were talking about uh you know, like Lonnie Butter. Oh, well, I did learn that uh, Lonnie likes to negotiate with gays. <laughs> Dude, I couldn't. Uh, that's pretty funny, man. Sorry, you have to watch that video to see what what I'm talking about. But uh, I just thought that he likes to flirt with them. You know, man, each to their own, man. Whatever it takes to make the deal. But uh, I just, it was pretty, it was pretty funny. After he started going into it, man, I knew I could tell by the look on his face he sure wanted to back back out of it. But it was pretty entertaining. That was pretty good, Lonnie. But, uh, you know, and everybody's, that however you negotiate, Thrifty Treasures, that's the other, the gal that was on there. She, uh, um, you know, and all of them, Dwayne, he'd said he don't do much yard selling or whatever anymore, or used to or something, I don't know. But, um, you know, Lonnie's out there, you know, wheeling and dealing all the time. He used to do the videos, which I actually miss those videos, Lonnie, when he was out. You know, we need to go back to the car and kind of show and talk about the wheeling and dealing part of it. But, uh, man, my whole thing on that, you know, and, um, man, it really depends on when you go into a sale, um, you know, and you're going to wheel and deal and negotiate or whatever like that, it completely depends on what the environment's like, man. Because if you go in there and, um, you know they got something you want man you know they got this copper cup man they want 20 bucks for it or whatever and um you know the way i do it man is and they were talking about leaving stuff sitting you know around here man time don't the, the time of day or whatever it don't matter man because i've sat stuff down and lost it at four o'clock in the afternoon and i've sat stuff down and lost it at you know eight o'clock in the morning man to me if if there's something um the peaks your interest man i don't care if i'm 100 percent sure i'm gonna buy it or they're gonna give it to me for the price that i want it for or not once i pick it up man i ain't gonna set it down and man they can think i love it or whatever but you know when i can't get it for the price uh that i want it for they're gonna realize real fast that i didn't love it as much as they thought i loved it you know so i mean i think it takes but what i was gonna say is it takes uh it completely depends on fiddle fart man i got so much crap piled up here 
but um, it completely depends like I said on the environment because if you go in there and you know it's an old uh, grumpy woman or it's a you know uh, you know punk kid with an attitude or whatever you know you're gonna approach that different than if you go in there and you know and I always walk in first thing how you doing you know man friendly and all that like uh, Lonnie was saying you know make conversation make friends or whatever but sometimes you go in and sometimes you go in and say how you doing and they don't even acknowledge you're there you know so I mean it just depends on that and then uh, you know as far as man I carry everything that I can without setting it down but if it's bigger stuff and man I want my hands free and a lot of times they'll say hey you can set your stuff down over here you know but I'll always go up and set it up by the the cash person you know and man I always tell them straight up man I'm gonna make a pile right here and don't be letting anybody steal my stuff you know man I tell them that straight up but the negotiating part um, you know man I've been doing it for um, over 30 years you know buying and selling stuff and you know full time you know 100% full time for I don't know, 20 years you know or roughly roughly 20 years and like I said you judge whatever you're negotiating you judge on the environment of, and the person and the pricing and all that kind of stuff that they have on it and uh, you know I'll make my pile but once I get a pile of stuff you know I'll be calculating in my head the whole time how much stuff's there and how much I want to pay for all that and you know of course I'll try to do a bundle deal and buy the whole the whole uh, pile for one price you know and make myself you know a way better deal and other ones you, you know you'll have somebody man you'll be all you know what kind of deal you can make me on this pile man and they'll start adding up you know each each price on there you know until you they'll give you the price of the whole pile as whatever the stickers were on it you know so like I said it just depends on as far as negotiating man and I don't care how many videos you watch and um, all that you're not gonna learn everything from videos man you just got to go out and have the experience of doing it you know I can sit here and preach how I do one thing and you know Lonnie and other people and everybody can tell you how they do things but until you get out there and actually do it yourself you're not going to you know you know you can't walk in there and say hey well that hillbilly told me you'd do this or that Lonnie told me you'd do that hmm. I just ain't gonna <coughs> excuse me work for you so man the main thing to do is get out there and you know and you know they're saying uh completely low ball stuff and you know and sometimes you know I won't uh, you know and I won't completely lowball on everything and it, and it actually it depends on what kind of price you know you go in there I mean if somebody's got something that's 50 bucks and you know it's well worth you know 75 or a hundred bucks um, I'm not gonna offer the dude 10 bucks you know because more than likely you're gonna just piss him off you know so you don't want to do that so uh you know and you fill the guy out man you fill him out man if they're like man i just got to get rid of all this crap and da 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 and then if you got other things to throw in with that 50 dollar item you know then you may end up getting it for 10 bucks you know and i mean I, if they and a lot of times they'll say uh well just make me an offer you know and i'll be like man i don't want to you know, I don't want to offend you or nothing like that. Oh no! Then I'll say, hey, man, how about uh, ten bucks? You know, oh god, I can't do that, man. I go, you know, thirty or something like that. And I was, how about twenty? <laughs> you know, so I mean, you just gotta work them. But it all depends on the person. It all depends on the uh, um, the kind of sell it is. You know, and the one point, like they were saying on the show that I watched. Um, uh, you know, you good chance you'll never see that person again. But um, when you live in smaller towns and stuff like that, there's a good chance you will. You know. So anyway, that was just my little take on that. Uh, I don't know why it's just something. Well, I had things. You know, I wanted to throw my two cents in. And when you're watching these videos, and they're, they're you watch the live videos, which I was actually going to try to do one, but I haven't got around to it yet. But um. 
when you do the or you watch the live videos and some of them don't pay no attention to the you know the comments other ones the comments are coming in so fast you know man I'm a two-finger typer man <laughs> so the comments are coming in so fast that by the time I get my you know what I got to say or a question or something like that it's so far gone that it never gets acknowledged or anything anyway so I've gotten to where I really just don't you know I don't say too much man I'll let let it be known I'm in there you know maybe say something here and there but I just don't get I don't haven't been uh I guess I got burnt out on them you know somewhat um, when they were you know when all the negativity crap was going on that burned me out real fast on a bunch of them and then there's just some of them that some shows that you watch that they're uh, they're full of themselves and there's other ones that they're just full of it you know just don't know what they're you know talking about man I've watched a couple where it's you know a 20 year old kid you know that's been doing it for a couple years and trying to tell me how and what to sell and all that stuff and I mean dude there's stuff to learn from all of them but I just got who said when I first found them man I was pretty, I was on it man watching all of them but you know, I watch my, my Cajun Picker show and Craigslist Hunter. I like Craigslist Hunter, man, because he's got a lot to, you know, he's been in the, the business for a while. You know, the ones I miss is like uh, Dallas Moore, man. Dallas Moore had a lot to, a lot to teach you put out there. But, you know, I ain't, and I'm not trying to do, uh, you know, the how-to, all that you know i might throw some of these in here here and there type of thing and show some of my stuff you know and i've been doing that since the you know when i started doing these videos four or five years ago i've always showed my stuff and like i said in the one video i didn't even know that there was a whole community of resellers or whatever out there doing it junkers is what i call it all man but a lot of them are too uppity to be called a junker you don't want to be called that but for the most part, man, there's some there is some good ones to watch out there. Um, said that's my, probably my uh, my number one that I watch is Cajun Pickers, and then um, who else? Man, I'll watch Ronnie Ronnie Hart. Man, I love when he shows his uh, the signs and stuff because I've sold a lot of signs over the years, man. Not the not the caliber of some of the ones he's selling and stuff, but Ronnie's got a lot of. You know, good stuff I really like is when he does the ones on the signs because I don't sell, I sell clothes, but it's usually, you know, Forest Service t shirts and stuff like that. Um, you know, all the name brands and all the stuff he knows. And that dude, man, he's been in for a while, and then he knows his, I mean, dude, he makes that kind of money on them, on clothes. And there's a lot of money to be made in clothes, but man, when you, uh, well, he'll be living like this, man, storing clothes when you heat with wood is probably not a good, uh, good mix but anyway I don't know what else uh, I was gonna do more than anything I was just gonna do this video before we headed up the the hill to talk a little bit about the reselling thing you know the main thing is to get out there man tomorrow's Friday get out there you know I think all them guys back east and stuff they're going out at uh, at like 7 o'clock in the morning or something like that we're going out tomorrow, but, uh, man, they don't, you know, in our little towns and stuff, 8 or 9 o'clock when they, some of them don't open until 10, you know, and the kind of stuff I'm hunting for, I don't have to be, because, man, I don't like, well, sometimes I'll, you know, at a good estate sale or a ranch auction or a ranch sale, you know, I'll be there right when they open, but, man, I don't like when it's, uh, you know, just, man, because I don't. I don't do them crowds and people pushing and shoving and grabbing crap out of the front of me and stuff like that. I don't deal with that stuff very good. So I just, more than anything, we just kind of leisurely along and hit the cells. But I know there's uh, I don't know, 30, 30, maybe 40 cells down in the little town we're going to go down to tomorrow. And then we're going to go up probably the on Saturday to another little town, a little mountain town. So that's our plan for the next couple of days. Um, I think Cajun Picker show's on tonight. I think they're, uh, remember what time the Cajun Picker show's on? 
7 o'clock our time, mountain time, I think. So I think it's 8 o'clock Louisiana time. So, man, you can check out the Cajun Pickers. Um, oh, I did, man. The one uh, bearded picker, when he does, I like watching him. He's, he cracks me up, man. I love that guy. But he, uh, he was on, uh, went and had lunch with, uh, what's the guy's name, man? Um, Cincinnati picker? I think is who it is. But man, he went and had lunch with him, and uh, that was a pretty good. That was, actually, that was a very um, educational and interesting, you know, because he does, man. The bearded picker did like a half a million bucks or something last year, or so far this year. So, I mean, doing the Amazon thing, see, I don't touch that. But man, he's got some. He's, he's got it going on, man. He's got it going on. And then, um, he's on my, I'm trying to think of who else I, man, I got a few, you know, that got the little bell dinged on to let me know, and it's Cajun Pickers, Garage Flips, Kinetic Energy, Glen Swamp Picker, Bearded Picker, um, man, who else do I got that, except, man, I had a, a bunch, bunch of, uh, you know, because I had, I had a Rockstar Flipper, and, uh, I can't remember all man. There's so dang many of them, but I had them, you know, the little bell dinging. But man, my thing, especially for like Rockstar and, uh, uh Rakin. huh? Rakin. Oh, Rake it, yeah, Rake it Profits. I think I still have his, uh, his dinged because he's, oh, and I know who else is, um, uh, Voodoo, man, Mike. Man, he's one of my favorites, man. He's and he's been in it, you know. Dang near as long or right at the same amount of time that I've been in. You know, I'm he's a little younger than I am, but I think he said he's what do you say he's 42 or something? Or he, oh yeah, 42. See, I'm 48. So I got a couple more, and I've been doing it since I was 15. So I've been doing flea markets and all that, setting up flea markets and doing yards. I was all that since I was 15. But Mike is a uh, he just man, I just love him. Let's see what we do. I just love that guy. <laughs> anyway, so that's a few of the ones uh, that I really like, man. So check them out. What is Mike's? It's Voodoo or uh, man, I don't know why I can't think of his. No, it's uh, anyway, man. If you watch the videos and stuff, you know who Mike is, man. He's he's great. So him, like I said, the Cage Pickers, the Cage Picker Show tonight. Um, anything else I? Chit chatting about Miss Kitty. Mainly just wanted to go in there, you know, give my input on the um, negotiating skills at the thing, man. It's all you just got to get in there and just do it, you know, and you're going to learn your own. And I mean, not that they didn't give out some good advice that might be helpful to you. And I mean, any of the shows, man, if you find something that helps you or inspires you, then man, all the power to you, you know, man. That's, I mean, just because I don't watch the show or like, the, you know, care for the people or you know, watch the show doesn't mean that you won't like it and you might get something out of it. I'm just giving my, you know, my own little opinion on my own show. <laughs> so, man, this, you know, except I've been playing this game for a, for a long time, man, and there, it's definitely not no get-rich uh, scheme or, you know, whatever like that, man. I don't drive a Maserati and I don't, you know, have a brand new four-wheel drive pickup or anything like that. Yeah, I'm a junk dealer, man. Well, man, that's uh, it's my passion. I even if I didn't do it for a living, well, I did take some time off over the year, you know, framing houses and driving tow truck and driving big rig and stuff like that. But I still was at the auctions collecting the stuff. And then when I was tired of doing whatever I was doing, I just went back and I never stopped selling the flea markets. I'd always sell at least once a month at a flea market. Ever since I was 15, always, always, at least one. But anyway, I don't know what else I was gonna. I had other things I was gonna talk about on the. Uh, as far as the reseller stuff, you know, and if there's, you know, if you do, if you have any questions about, you know, how we, you know, buy and sell and all that stuff and eBay and any of that stuff, and leave it in the comments down below and uh, make make sure you send your postcards in because we're getting slowly climbing up there closer to that 10,000 subscribers so we're gonna be doing that drawing someday 
But if you have any questions or you do like the the reseller talk, then you know let me know and we'll do you know more of them as we go along here too. And but anyway, just keep on keeping on, man. Get out there, get some sales, and make some money. Um, you know. It's hard to, you know, people telling you what to what to buy and all that stuff. You know, it's, you buy whatever the heck's at hand, especially when, you know, I mean, one minute I'm buying a, you know, a Nash hood, or actually it's a, a radiator badge, and the next minute I'm buying a copper mug, you know. The next thing I might even buy this Hawaiian, uh, Hawaiian dude or a sterling silver and gold necklace. You, know, you just never it's it's what's there or am I buy a United States paperweight <laughs> and it just depends on whatever you know what's at hand and what kind of stuff you know and stuff like that and um, as far as niches you know of course I got my certain niches you know my fishing stuff and you know hillbilly stuff man is all you know that's my biggest niche and that's the stuff that I collect myself my knives you know and all that stuff you'll find your own you know your own niche something that I sell and might get good money for doesn't mean you're getting it. you know it's all in the you know it's mostly more in the description of everything on when you do that and your pictures your pictures are a big thing you know Miss Kitty takes way better pictures of stuff than I do anyway good Lord willing and the cricks don't rise we'll film some uh, up the mountain here in a little bit and Take you on a nice, pleasant, cool little. Maybe I'll even do some fishing along the creek, man. Y'all have a good day.